Okay, now here you've seen, you can see that I've put the, my buttonholes in. Now to mark the placement of my buttons, I'm going to make sure that the edge, the bottom here, is nice and flat. And then you can see the edge of the other side, of this side, it just lays right alongside the edge of my buttonholes. That way I know that it's even all the way up. Okay, now to mark the placement of my button, I'm going to use a pencil only because at this point you won't see the mark and it'll be covered by the buttonhole or by the button so I'm not really concerned about it but I'm going to take my pencil and just right in the middle of my buttonhole I'm going to just kind of move it back and forth and make a little mark and then that way I know exactly where my buttons need to fall. Now here's a really cute little nifty trick here. Take your button and just um, cover it with some scotch tape and then line it up on your mark and just tape it down. The scotch tape will hold it while you sew it on your machine and you don't have to worry about it flying off or you know you don't have to worry about maybe catching your finger or anything like that. It's nice and secure. You can go ahead and sew it down and then just peel the tape off and it'll just peel away around the stitch. Nice and easy. Okay I'm going to go do that and then we'll um, finish up the front. Okay, here we are in our cute little sun top for the summertime. Um, on the front, there's several different things you could do with the details if, if you wanted to do something else. I think I'm going to add just a really simple uh, ribbon bow to the front, probably right here, maybe at the waist. You could also do little fabric yo-yos and put flowers. I've done that. If you wanted to embroider something, you can do that. And in fact, you can even do the embroidery step before you put the lining on so you can do all that to the front and then put the the pattern together. Um, you could add some trim and um, there's just so many different things that you can do um, to the front of this but I think I'm just going to add a simple bow since this fabric is is pretty bold and pretty busy so I'm going to do that um, later. And then for the little shorts I used uh, Simplicity 4203 and it's a really cute little short pattern. It's really easy and I followed it um, exactly like the pattern. It's got an elastic band and then it has this little cuff at the bottom which is really easy. It's just a deep hem and then they turn it up for a cuff. And a few little things that I added on my own is when I did flip up the cuff I went ahead and top stitched it uh, about an eighth of an inch away from the edge and that just makes it stay nice and crisp so that it doesn't uh, fall down or, or start you know gapping out and then also on the side I added another top stitch next to my seam um, it's it's just another detail that kind of separates out a you know makes it look a little bit more professional you could even add a stitch on the other side and it would kind of look like almost like a jean pattern um, so that's the little shorts so, easy project. Not hard at all. It's something anybody can do. It's not hard to sew. You can do this. Okay, um, on to the next project.